Okay, very quickly, we are going to do some questions from NVT. Now, we discussed in previous session that NVT is a situation where you have, you know, a fixed cash flow for a fixed period of time. Say you're getting $20,000 for the next five years, which means year one, year two, year three, year four, year five, every year, same $20,000. So time period is fixed, five years. Amount is fixed, say 20,000. This is called NVT. Um, again, what we do, we do the discounted cash flow. We need to find out the present value of the future cash flows. And NVT just makes our calculation easier. Okay. The concept of the same, uh, it remains same as discounted cash flow. The only thing is that when you have this option or opportunity of fixed cash flows, uh, it just makes calculation easier. So uh, we'll just do some. Uh, two or three examples. I'll start with a very simple one and then we'll see a little bit more tricky uh, situation. So the question says that dollar two thousand per year, every year, same amount two thousand, will be received for years one to three. One to three means year number one, year number two, and year three. What is the present value of the receipts if the discount rate is eight percent? So they tell us discount rate is 8%. You are going to receive 2,000, 2,000, 2,000 for the next three years. How much is going to be the present value of this total cash flow, total cash flow present value? So this is what you do normally. So you say that, okay, if I've got $2,000, uh, you know, my cash flow. So $2,000 cash flow in year one, 8% factor, the discount factor for 8% in year one is 0 0.926. Um, then for year two, it is 0 0.857. Then for year three, it is 0 0.794. And I think that my team has not did this calculation. So 0 0.794 multiplied by 2000. So that makes me something like uh, 1588, okay? I just multiply this one and the total cash flow for three years is going to be 1852. The total cash flow will be 51 and 54. So this is the simple method. We call it the long way. I mean, I'm just finding out the present value of the three years cash flows. And then I make a total. It gives me 5154. But of course, we had to do three times the discount factors and multiplication. Now, because it is a fixed number of year, like three years, and it is the same amount, we say that this amount is NVT amount. So if it is an NVT amount, we have this opportunity to solve it in a short way. What you do, you just say that, okay, how much is the NVT? NVT is 2000 and you multiply it with the NVT factor. In our previous lecture, when I was explaining you NVT factor, I explained you that NVT factor is just the sum total. If you see that there are three discount factors, you add them up, it becomes 2.577, and you multiply 2.577 with $2,000. So 2,000 into 2.577, it gives you again the same answer, 5154. So life becomes easy here. Instead of doing all this calculation, you can go to your NVT table and find out. You don't need this one actually here. You can just find out this number 2.577 from the NVT factor table, which I showed you and I explained you in the previous lecture. So you see that you can find this number very easily. So no need to do a very long way of calculation. Just take the NVT amount and multiply it with the NVT factor, which you can take it from NVT table and you will find out the answer very quickly. Now, this question is a very straightforward question because what is happening that you have a timeline which says year zero, year one, year two, and year three. And every year you are getting the same amount, okay? Starting from year number one, starting from the year number one, two, and three. Okay, year one to year three. This was the simplest possible example which I could have given you, but there could be something a little bit tricky. Um, we'll see some questions further. For example, uh, it says that um, using NOT tables, calculate the present value of the following cash flows. And there are three scenarios. Uh, situation number one, scenario number one, $2,000 received for 10 years. 
with the first flow occurring at time two, discount rate is 10%. Now, what is happening? You are going to receive money for 10 years, okay? But it is not from year one to year 10. No, because it says that the first cash flow, the ca first cash flow, it uh, coming at year two. So it means that you don't receive any cash in year one. So what you are going to receive, you are going to receive cash for 10 years, starting from year two to year 11. This is very interesting now. From year two to year 11. Uh, year one, I'm not receiving anything. Can You can imagine it like this, that this is your cash, this is your timeline. This is time zero. This is time one. There is nothing you're receiving and you are receiving in two and in three. You, are, you start to receive money from year two, year three, and you continue to receive it for the next 10 years. So it means you will end up in year number 11. So it is not a situation from one to 10. It is actually a situation from two to 11. Now, what you need to do here, when you will go to the annuity table, and if you remember, which I showed you the annuity table, you will have here, you know, 10% and year one, year two, year three, year four, year five and year 11. So the number which you receive here in year 11, this actually is the sum total of all these 11 years. The annuity factor which you find in year number 11 is actually a sum total of all the values here the discount factors of first 11 years. But we don't need 11, we actually need 10. Which one is missing? This one is missing. So what you need to do, you need to take this number and then minus this one. Let me show you how it should be done, okay? Uh, scenario number A, 2000 is uh, the money which you are going to receive, starting from year two, ending till year 11. Let me uh, show you how this calculation will look like. So 2000 received for 10 years with the first flow occurring at time two, discount rate is 10%. A normal 10 year annuity is received in years one to 10. This one is received in years two to 11, which is like one to 11 by omitting year one, by omitting year one. So what you need to do, because your annuity table will not show you two to 11. When you go to annuity table in year number 11, it is giving you some number. Let's suppose that, okay, the number is 6.495. You have to take from year one to year 11. So this is actually, this number is appearing 6.495. It is appearing in front of the 11th year. So you take it from the 11th year and it does include year one and which we do not want. So you subtract the value for year one. So this is the this is the annuity factor for year one. And this I don't need because I don't need 11 years. I need only 10 years. So I take one to 11 and then I subtract one. So this is 5.586. Now this is the factor for year two to 11, 5.586. And then you simply multiply 2000, the annuity amount, multiplied by 5.586 and the answer is 11,172. So this is just one simple trick that subtract first year. So you get value from year two to year 11, 5.586. Let's go back and see what is the second situation. Part B says $3,000 received for six years, received for six years with the first flow occurring at time four. Discount rate is 6%. So first flow occurring at time four and it is for six years, okay? So four year, fourth year, four, fourth year, fifth year, sixth year, seven, eight, and nine. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Total nine. So you will take factor from one to nine, one to nine, and then from that you will subtract the first three years. Let's see how it happens. It says that 3,000 received for six years with the first flow occurring at time four, discount rate is 6%. A normal six year annuity is one to six from year one to year six. But this one is received from year four to year nine. So when you take this annuity factor, you will take one to nine year, year from year one to year nine. So 6.802, this 6.802, it actually would appear in front of the ninth year, okay, in front of the ninth year. Um, 
Let me just share it with you. Let me show Anvity table. So this is Anvity table, and this is 6%, and this is ninth year. So you go back here, and you see that in year nine, under 6%, it says 6.802, okay? It says very clearly here that in front of the ninth year and 6%, the number is 6.802. This 6.802 is actually the sum total of nine factors. Year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. You make a total of these nine years, you get this number. Now, we need only from 4 to 9. So it means that this one, the three numbers, which is actually here, this number, three years factor. If you make a total of these three numbers, it will give you this number. I explained this thing in previous lecture, that NVT table is just a total of the discount factors, okay? For example, if I talk about this 10% uh, table, uh, sorry, 6% table, the discount factor for year one is 0.943. It, you see that it is here for 6%. For first year, it is 943. It is same. But then in the second year, it is 0 0.890. And this is 1.833 because the total of these two will come here. Then a total of these three will come here. Then a total of these four will come here. I explained this in the previous session as well. So when you take this for nine years, actually, for 6% for at ninth year, which is 6.802, 6.802, this includes the nine discount factors from year one to nine. And you don't need one year one, two, three. So you subtract from, from this total, you subtract the total of three years. So we come back here. You said that 6.802, this is from year one till nine. From here, we subtract year one, two, three, because we did not get anything in year one, two, three. Our cash flow started from four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we subtract three years factor and 4.129 4 comes. This 4.129 is actually an annuity factor for six years, starting from year number four, starting from year number four, which means four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By the way, this is easy way of doing it. I mean, if you want to make your life complex, if I don't have annuity table, let's suppose, if I don't have annuity table, what I can do? Let's suppose I don't have annuity table. I only have got discount table. So year one, two, three, I will ignore. This I will ignore, this I will ignore, this I will ignore. So this one, plus this one, plus this one, this one, and this one. One, two, year number four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if you make a total of these numbers, it will give you the same answer. You can check it for yourself. If you don't have, let's suppose you don't have annuity table and you want to make your life difficult, you can make a total of these numbers. It will be the same, okay? The same what is, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, uh, 4.129, that will be the total. And then you say, okay, now the answer is $3,000 is the annuity amount, multiply with 4.129 and the present value of these six cash flows 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, 3,000 for six years. The total is like 18,000 in the nominal terms, but the present value of that 18,000, you know, because you are going to receive 3,000 six times, starting from year four, ending at year nine. So this is 18,000, but the present value of this in time zero is only 12,387. Okay. We go back to our previous example, number last example, which is number C. It says that 4,000 received for six years times one to three, then six to eight. Discount rate is 12%. This is even more interesting. So what is happening? Uh, you are going to receive some cash flow. You will receive cash flow in year one, in year two, and in year three. And how much you get? You get 4K. 4,000, 4K, and you get 4K. Then you don't get anything in year four. You don't get anything in year five, but you get in year six, year seven, and year eight again. 
4K, 4K. So these are like, you know, um, non-conventional cash flows, not happening in the same amount in the same period. There is some break. So you've got 4K, 4K, three years annuity here and three years annuity here. So you need to find out these. Um, yeah, we can do it. Let's let me show you how to um, do these. Let me just clear this one. Clear all drawings, okay. So how we solve it here. 4,000 received in six for six years times one to three and then times six to eight. Discount rate you have taken at 12%. These payments are received in year one to three and six, seven, eight, which is like one to eight, the total factor and by omitting year four and five. So if you remember that, we showed you on screen that you are going to receive from year one, year two, year three, four, you don't have anything, five, you don't have anything, six, seven, and eight. So you get cash flow here, you get cash flow here, you get cash flow here, you get here, you get here, and you get here. These two years, there is no cash flow. So what you can do, you can take the total annuity factor of eight years, total annuity factor of eight years, and then subtract from there year number four and year number five, the discount factor of these two years. The discount factor, not the annuity factor, discount factor individual. What is year four discount factor? What is year five discount factor from the discount table? You can solve it. So from time one to eight, it is 4.968 less time four, which is fourth year discount factor. This is not annuity factor. This is one year, fourth year discount factor. This is fifth year discount factor from the discount table. <laughs> you want to see it? I can show you. 0 0.637, 0 0.567. Okay, let me go back and show you on screen. So I come back here. Okay, this is not 11. This table is for until 10%. So 11 and 12 are not here. But if you have an, because I just copy paste it for until here. So if you go back and uh, see from 12%, you will find out that these are, this is year four, 12%, year five, 12%. You subtract it, the factor comes out to be 3.765. Now this 3.765 belongs to six years, but distributed as year number one, two, three, and year number six, seven, eight. And then finally you multiply it with the annuity amount. Your annuity amount is $4,000 multiplied with 3.765. So your present value, of these cash flows, the cash flows which will occur here, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, 4,000, and 4,000 in this distribution, in this form. The sum total of these cash flows is 15,060. So this is um, some question. These are some questions from Envity. We did some as an example. Of course, in our question video sessions, we have more questions and even more complicated questions. This is the first day with the annuity thing. So we started with some simple questions with a little bit of spice on that, but these are not the most difficult ones. The most difficult ones uh, will follow in the practice question videos.